Hello everyone, welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to insert a text value within a cell without adding a new column. For example, in the column region that I have over here, I have four different regions and I want to prefix this with the word region and hyphen followed by the region which is there in that particular cell. And in the second example, I have a column city over here which has multiple cities from India and I want to suffix the value hyphen India here in these cells. So the way we suffix the uh, country name in the city column over here is going to be slightly different from the way we do this in the region column which is prefix. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to go here into edit query. This is where we get into the power query editor. So first let's select the region column over here and let's head over to the transform tab and under the extract function over here, let's choose text after delimiter. Let's enter space and click on OK. Now we have a ready M code for us to get started with and we only have to make a couple of changes to achieve our results. So what we will now do is I'm going to remove after delimiter option over here and type in insert. So this is the function which is text dot insert underscore over here refers to every single row in the data set followed by a comma. The second argument for the text.insert function is to define where do you want to insert your text. For example, if I enter 0, it's going to start entering the values at the beginning of that particular cell. If I enter 5 over here, it's going to start entering the text from the fifth position of that particular cell. So in this case, I want to have a prefix, which means that I need to enter value 0 over here followed by a comma and then in the double quote over here i'm going to type in region space hyphen space and then click on this particular button over here to confirm our m code and as you can see over here we have added the word region as a prefix to our already existing column without adding any new column in our data set now let's look at the second example wherein it gets a little complicated because we don't know what is the end position of that particular cell. For example, in this case, the end position might be 10th position and over here it might be 6th position and over here it might be 15th position. So it basically varies and so the number that you enter over here which basically says where do you want the text to be inserted has to be dynamic in this case. So which means that we will have to use the length function within the M code over here so let's get started so what i will now do is select the city column go to transform tab and under extract over here choose the same option text after delimiter i'm going to select underscore over here click on ok so this adds a new step over here and now let's start making same the same changes again over here so i'm going to type in insert text dot insert leave the underscore over here followed by a comma and over here instead of having the number as fixed number we are going to make this dynamic and let's type in text dot length open brackets over here and type in underscore so basically what this particular function does is it returns the length of that particular cell by referring to every single row in that particular data set and now i need to define uh, I, before that i need to enter a comma over here and followed by the suffix that i want in this case i need a space i need a hyphen and then i need to type in the country name which is india in this case and then i'm going to click on confirm button over here and you will see that we've now added the value hyphen underscore india across all the rows present in our data set without adding a new column into our data set so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials